So, now let's talk about Bowser. When you land on a Bowser space, uh, as our tutorial rules explanation told us, either the Koopa Kid or Bowser will show up. So here's the Koopa Kid shows up, he'll just take some coins from you. Simple as that. Okay. Easy. Now, sometimes, when the Koopa Kid shows up, what kind of dastardly deeds? He'll actually take coins from everybody! And others, uh, if you land on the space and the Koopa Kid shows up and you have no coins, then, as often happens with these Bowser spaces, they will give you coins. Huh. In a, a semi-random amount. And sometimes, Bowser will show up, and he flattens you. Bow before Bowser! Bowser and game! Then, instead of getting a roulette where you decide what Bowser thing is happening, Bowser just picks for us. Hand so, the loser of this point. Bowser game will hand over every coin. Okay. All their coins. So, so the person who's doing the best at minigames would lose all of their coins. If they lose. If they lose. This time the Bowser game is... Darts of Doom! You know, check the rules. All right, listen up, Wigglings. I'm gonna explain the rules of this game. So no snoozing! Throw three darts at once and try to get a lot of points. A lot of points! But the board will be spinning, so it won't be easy. Round and round she goes! The three curses show where the darts will hit. Pay attention! Three curses! Watch the curses movement. Throw and press A to throw. Hey, that's the green one! Some of the three areas your darts hit is your total score. If you can get any player with the least points, gets a back rub! No! They get roasted! Like chestnuts on an open fire! There we go. I like the two Koopa kids with their kind of back and forth. If you make them play here, they'll hit me! Ah, that's not a smart game. Oh, one more thing. If you get a bullseye, you're toast! So this is Darts of Doom. They spin the dartboard, and those three curses will randomly meander about. You push A when you're ready, and it throws the darts at those three spots. And whatever spots you hit, it totals up the points. Uh, the outer ring is worth zero points. The bullseye is worth death. Yep. Um, if your timer runs out here, it will automatically throw the darts wherever the, the curses are at that point. But again, the person who's best at minigames, who has the most to lose, is already the best at minigames. Yeah! <laughs> so this is likely to make the loser lose harder. I'm... Hmm. So, you know, all four players get their, their one throw, and then we have a loser! On an open fire! He shoots, he scorches! And you get incinerated. Well. I like the, the Bowser game area with, like, Bowser's on his throne and he's actually, like, commanding presence. And yeah, it takes all their coins. And he goes from third to fourth. Now, there are a couple of different... First of all, here's what it looks like when you get a uh, bullseye. Hey, you've done it now! Nice shot, Boko! That is, if you meant to hit my face! On an open fire! That doesn't really make sense, continuing from that statement. Yeah. But... Anyway, yeah, so if you get a bullseye, you instantly lose. And nobody else has to throw. 
Now, there are a couple of different things that can happen with the Bowser game. First of all, the loss um, penalty is different each time. It can yeah. be all the coins, it can also only be half of your coins. And there are also a couple of different Bowser games. So this time... Balloon of Doom! Let's hear the rules. Alright, listen up, Weaklings. I'm gonna explain the rules of this game. So no Susie! Blow up Bastard Bowser's balloon real big like! Yeah, Riesel Roof! Just ground pound on this pump over here to inflate the balloon! Whomp! Press A to jump and press A again to the attic ground pound! Jump and press A! The higher you jump, the more air gets pumped into the balloon! More air means more Bowser! But if you ever inflate the balloon or don't pump at all... Oh, I know! I know! You roast! Like marshmallows at a campfire! So get pumping! Reha! My face is gonna be huge! So here, everybody takes turns uh, ground pounding this pump to inflate the balloon. Yeah! You have uh, five seconds to make your your pump. So this is sort of the one of the push your luck kind yeah. of things. Yeah. So again, the the higher you jump with your ground pound, the more air you put into it. So early on, you generally want to be doing high jumps to try to you know get it bigger. But, but later whatever, on, you don't want to. Yeah, push once it's too uh, hard. Once it gets pretty big, you'll want to, like, start doing very low jumps. Uh, it gets a... It, it goes bigger than at least I expected my first time playing it. So, you, you end up taking, like, three or four rounds through of each player hitting. And obviously, it can be more if everybody is doing small amounts. Oh, and once it nervous. gets, uh, once it starts getting like close to popping, everybody starts like holding their ears to in anticipation. <laughs> that Bowser kid ran away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, look at that. Uh oh. What were you thinking? Help. Yep. So then you lose half their coins, as he said. There you go. Now, if you just don't do it, you dare disobey me! This is if you let the clock run out without uh, pumping at all. You just lose. Mm hmm. Sometimes, you know, the Koopa Kid will come and he'll take the, the coins, and then... Hmm, what's this? You mock me? You still want more? Dad, come here! And then Bowser will show up. Uh-oh. So sometimes you just get both of them. <sighs> Bowser game is the most common thing to come up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes he can take all of your items instead Ooh. of coins. So this could be very devastating, or it could just be nothing if you don't have any items. Mm -hmm. Like, three of the four players here didn't have any items. Jeez. And this time, game is Fruits of Doom! Uh, it's a table. Okay. Let's hear the rules. Hey, listen up, weaklings. I'm gonna explain the rules of this game. So no snoozing. 
Mr. Bowser will say which fruits he wants to eat. He's very particular. Then you guys must find the right fruit and bring it to him. And don't mess up. Stand in front of the fruit and press A to grab it. Yeah, press A, you simpletons. If you bring a fruit that Master Bowser didn't ask for, or if you bring more than the number he asked for, I love this part. Then things might get a wee bit warmer for you. Yeah, like a London broil. Now let's get started. I am so very hungry! You, weaklings, bring fruit to satiate the mighty King Koopa! What refreshing flavor do I long for? Banana, melon, melon, grater, Now bring them quickly! That was not fast forwarded, by the way. That was not skipped. That is what the game is. It well. starts the first couple, you can see clearly, and then the text scrolls by very quickly. So you might be able to catch a couple throughout here and there. And you just need to try to remember what things he said. So, uh, as uh, they mentioned, he'll say certain fruits, a sp each fruit will be said a specific number of times. So, he might say, if he says, like, banana three times throughout that text string, then he will, he will be able to eat three bananas. If you give him a fourth banana, you lose. If you give him any fruit that was not in the string at all, you lose. Well. So, you know, you, you memorize what ones you can, what ones you manage to see throughout the line. You pay attention to what everybody else is giving him. And, uh, eventually you're just gonna have to guess once, uh, you're, the options you know are safe have run out. So, this one is a lot more luck-based. It's, it's more luck-dependent than, uh, the other ones. But I think Wario's made a tactical error. Ah. Oh. He's always I, I love like the tension that mounts up when he's like looking at the fruit. It's like, is this what I asked for? Let's find out. And I'm gonna grab it and like Frowns. Ah, but he eats it anyway. Oh. Yummy! That, the AI just wandering back and forth, like, yeah. uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, no, what's the power so going to want? Oh, no. I don't remember. He spoke too quickly. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really good about, like, stressing you out and making you, like, second-guess your choice after you've made it. Waluigi does not look like he's having a good time. <laughs> Get rid of this! And now he definitely isn't having a good time. Uh, if your timer runs out on this one, then it will automatically pick whatever fruit you're currently standing in front of. Okay. And it's... The one person who had items <laughs> lost the game. Well... So, now, let's check out the non-game things that Bowser can do. Okay. Because, uh, there's Bowser Shuffle. You know, we've seen this the last couple of times. One of my personal favorites! Everyone trade places with someone else! There we go! Shuffles everybody around the board. That's, you know, it's a, it's a fairly simple thing. And, of course, there's the Bowser Revolution. Watch helplessly as I redistribute our wealth! Here we go, join the Bowser Revolution! Not that you have any choice! Ha ha ha! Still, hero of the proletariat, Bowser. Mm -hmm. And the rarest possibility is the Bowser suit. Oh, what's this? Someone wants a piece of the famous Bowser suit? You have been chosen, oh puny one! Wear it with pride! 
and you are given the Bowser suit item. This is the only way that the game will give you the Bowser suit item, is by receiving it from Bowser. It's this mushroom, you use it, and it puts on the Bowser suit. <laughs> and uh, the, sound the Bowser buzzer, right? suit works like a mega mushroom, but you only get the one dice block. You skip over events, just like a mega mushroom. But uh, more importantly, you stomp on opponents, just like a mega mushroom. But instead of stealing 10 coins, you steal 30 coins. Jeez. So that's everything that you can get from the Bowser space.